Since September 15, 2017, when the Nigeria Center for Disease Control officially confirmed a case of yellow fever in Kwara State to the World Health Organization, the country has been responding to successive yellow fever outbreaks over a wide geographic area. In the first eight months of 2019, 2,254 suspected cases have been reported in 535 local government areas. All states, including the Federal Capital Territory, have reported at least one suspected case. In the first half of September 2019, 243 suspected cases were recorded in Bochi, Borno, Gombe, Kanu and Katsina and 34 people died as a result. The clock is ticking. But what is yellow fever? Yellow fever is a deadly disease. Once contracted, the yellow fever virus incubates in the body for three to six days. Many people do not experience symptoms, but when these do occur, the most common are fever, muscle pains with prominent backache, headaches, loss of appetite, and nausea or vomiting. In most cases, symptoms disappear after three to four days. A small percentage of patients, however, enter a second and more toxic phase within 24 hours of recovering from initial symptoms. High fever returns and several body systems are affected, usually the liver and the kidneys. In this phase, people are likely to develop jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine and abdominal pains with vomiting. Bleeding can occur from the mouth, nose, eyes or the stomach. Half of the patients who enter the toxic phase die within 7 to 10 days. Now, here is how yellow fever is spread. The yellow fever virus is transmitted by mosquitoes belonging to the Addis and Hemogogos species. These breeds of mosquitoes live around houses and in the jungle. They bite monkeys, which are mammary reservoirs of yellow fever and transmit it to humans. If a human is infected, these mosquitoes can take the virus from them and transmit it to another human. Yes, yellow fever is deadly, but contracting it does not mean the end. Is there a cure for yellow fever? Although there are currently no specific antiviral drugs for yellow fever, specific care to treat dehydration, liver and kidney failure and fever improves outcomes. However, the best way to prevent yellow fever is through vaccination. The yellow fever vaccine is safe, affordable and a single dose provides lifelong protection against yellow fever disease. According to health officials, this vaccine is available in most primary healthcare centers across Nigeria and it is free. Response to the outbreak In Nigeria, Yellow fever response activities are being coordinated by a multi-agency National Yellow Fever Emergency Operations Center hosted at the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. On September 5, after another outbreak in Bochi, a national incident management system was activated to coordinate response activities. Already, a national rapid response team, including the NCDC and the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, have been deployed to Bochi and other affected states. The rapid response team's responsibility is to support outbreak response activities such as case finding, case management and risk communication. What can you do to protect yourself? Ensure that you are vaccinated. As much as possible, take precautions against being bitten by mosquitoes.